A buddy of mine had asked me to do a video on backlash, what it is and how to prevent it. So what backlash is, is it's the movement of the iron and the chip breaker on this yoke. I haven't found a plane that's machined perfectly. There is this slop right here where it's moving right on that yoke. So what that looks like from that side is it's this piece right here. So the iron and chip breaker are moving on this piece. Here, I can take it out and show you. So it's this. Okay, the iron and chip breaker are moving against this. That yoke goes through to this turn screw that retracts and advances the blade. Okay. So while you have this in there and you're planing, it wants to push back. It wants to push the iron back, which is going to change your depth of cut and it's going to mess things up. So it wants to push it back. You also have gravity working against you. So when I pull this, look here and look down here. It wants to fall. Okay. So how do you prevent that? I've seen a ton of videos of people setting up planes. They go through telling you to, you know, sight down the body, pull the blade all the way out. Okay. Check to see where you're, where you're at. What's, what's square. Is it high on one side? Whatever. You retract it all the way back into the body. Okay. And then you go to start planing. When you go to start planing, look how loose this is going to be. Do you see that spin? Okay. There's slop right there. So when you push it this way, you're in retracting. You're retracting it. And then you have to go this way to advance it. But you see how loose that is? You keep going until it snugs up. Now you're in the advanced position. So that's the very first thing. You want to make sure you're always in the advanced position. That's going to help prevent a lot of it. Now, if while you're planing, you need to retract it because you're too heavy on the cut, that's fine. Retract it. But you have to push this forward again. Move it back to the advanced position so it's snug and it's not just spinning freely like that. If it's spinning freely, you're going to get backlash. So that's the first step. Always make sure this is in advanced. The second thing that a lot of people don't mention, and I'm, again, very surprised that they don't mention this, is the cap screw and the cap have a huge play in this. You have to make sure that that's snug. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I'm going to loosen this. Do you hear the snap? I mean, the cap is still tight. It's still tight in there, but listen. Okay, cap's tight. This is still moving. So it's not holding it in place. So you have to make sure that this is snug. So tighten that screw back up, snap it down. Now there's no movement. Okay, so that's one of the most important things for backlash. I don't care what position this is in. You always do want it to be advanced, but more important than that is this cap and the screw. If it is not tight enough, you will experience backlash and you will have issues. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions or anything, or if you need a quick video like this, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll help you out. All right. Thanks guys.